What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. And what we're going to be talking about today is the Tyron Matthew that you get when you get to like a level 35. Um, your mutt level, like you can see right there, I'm at a level 39. I'm about to become a level 40. What happens is you have an opportunity to get a Tyron Matthew um, and, you know, Malcolm Jenkins, Darius Slay Jr. or a Casey Hayward. Now, this is what the situation is. The free safety position is very, very interesting because this year it matters more than ever. Um, last year, not so much because you could just do whatever you want and everybody just played the same. This year, people play a lot differently. Um, so it, it matters about the height, the speed, and different things like that. And as we know, Tyron Matthew is pretty short. Uh, so that's not really going to work out for a lot of you guys. Now, it is only $3, but $3 can mean a different amount to different people. So we're not about to just say, oh, yeah, everybody should be able to do it. I don't believe that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has a different mindset. Like $3 can get me like a slice you know what I'm saying? A slice of, pe uh, slice of pizza with extra cheese on it, bro. Even though it's not healthy, it's going to make me happy. You know what I'm saying, bro? So I'm not saying, yo, bro, everybody spend your $3. And keep in mind, throughout your mutt levels, you're going to be able to see what you can get right from your objectives and mutt level. Okay? If you go over to um, to the actual, uh, where is it? It's going to show you the mutt level rewards. It'll let you know exactly what's going on. So, you know what I'm saying? Like at 35 uh, that, was, that was two grooming, uh, premier packs. So I think it was like 33. 30, okay, I think it was like 35. It was like level 35 that they unlock it. But they tell you the free stuff that they give you also. If you wanted to know what you, you know, what you could look forward to, it's right there inside your objectives and mutt level. But they're going to give you the opportunity to get free cards. Like I got a, uh, a free, well, not a free, well, you get free packs and then you get cards that are, you know, cheaper. Like Anthony Barr cost me like a dollar fifty, stuff like that. But the price goes up as you continue to go on. And, um, you know, right there they have it at my, my uh, initial screen, but you can always go over here and look at level packs, and it'll tell you when it's available till. Um, now, you have one for $3, and then you have one you could buy for coins. The ones that you could buy for coins, I kind of avoid, but the one thing that you guys have been asking me about is like, yo, Jemaya, would it be cool to get these for these amount of coins and then, you know, put them in the sets and do stuff like that? The answer is no, because you can get cheaper um, elites, you know, right from the auction house that are tradable, auction, you know, tradable and auctionable right from the auction house that are less than 15K. Now, this is just giving you the specific card. And for any reason you want these cards, maybe for like, you know, you want to power up a player, you're a Patriot fan and you like Stefan Gilmore, stuff like that, feel free to do it. But I don't urge you to do it because I don't think it's necessary. Okay, I don't think it's something that you need to do. And if it's something that you want to do, that's a different story. Okay. I don't think that this guy at five now. I'm gonna show you something right now, okay? Because what I try to do is I like I, I want to simplify it and I want to make you guys understand it. Because when you're playing the game and these players don't make play or uh, plays or they're getting mossed, you guys usually tweet me like, "Yo, Jemai, why is this happening?" Well, it's very simple why it's happening. Like I told you before, height really matters in this game. I don't think height has matters mattered as much since Madden 15. If you guys didn't play Madden 15, oh my goodness, that was a year, okay? You guys know, if you, if you played Madden 15, write it in the comments. It was, it was pretty much a height-based game. So what happened was, if you didn't have dudes that can really, you know, that were tall enough that can get up, it was realistic. Is it IE? Is it, I, I don't know. Is, I don't know if it's I. Is it IE? Okay, so it's IEU. All right, so look. Let's take a look. This is the card, right? And um, it's, it's $3, right? But look at, look at what's going on. He's a 5'9 free safety, okay? He's a 5'9 free safety. So you're probably saying, yeah, Jemaya, if I don't go ahead and get this guy, what would you recommend? I would simply recommend the Sean Taylor legend. I've played against him several times. Right now I'm dead broke because I went after Randy Moss. But as soon as I get my coins up, I'm going to get that Sean Taylor. Let me explain to you why. Um, compared to this guy right here, and I'm talking about like fully chemming him out and like, you know, maxing him out, the Sean Taylor, all right? Compared to this guy right here, like the 84 speed is decent, whatever. I can't really complain about that because Sean Taylor's 88 is 85. I think he probably goes to like 86, 87 speed when he's chemmed, right? But he's 6'2". Okay, so you're not just throwing the ball over his head and he's not just going to be standing out there in the backfield being a complete and utter idiot. So let me show you what I'm talking about, okay? This is the situation. Should you spend the $3? I don't believe you should. If you're looking for overall and that's something that you can, you know, deal with right now to get your overall up, go for it. But this guy right here, I'm going to let you understand something very, very simply, okay? This guy is a stud, all right? What does that mean? Does that mean that this is the guy that, you know, you should be ideally looking for to, you know, stay with you for a little bit? If you can't afford him right now like me, I'm dead broke. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, I'm, bro, my, my funds are really, really low right now. You feel me? Like, I'm not even, bro, I'm not about that life. You know what I'm saying? But 
what I'm telling you right now is this, right? Instead of spending $3, I would probably say to invest in like, you know, something else with that $3 or get it up to like 10 and try to get like one of these elite packs or something and get a card that's valued more. Like get a little bit more for your money because you're not really getting anything um, from that um, Tyran Matthew. Now, if you look at this one, this is his 88. It's not, even, it's not even his full legend, all right? This card is really, really good. Um, I can see, you know, it's like the plus one less than the, the zone coverage than the Tyron Matthew, whatever. But that 6-2 height, it means a lot, man. It's the reason why uh, people are going crazy over Richard Sherman, even though he's much slower than Jalen Ramsey. Who do I think is the better corner in the game? Team Diamond Jalen Ramsey. But Sherman is 6-3. That's really what makes him. That's what Madden 15, when he was the Mutt Master in Madden 15, that's what made people go out and go buy that card. Was simply, his height was, you needed that in your life. You know what I'm saying? So those type of things is what's going to influence what's going on. Now, when you back out, I'm, I'm going to back out of this and I'm going to go um, to the store, right? I'm going to explain what I'm talking about. There are different variations of packs, right? And if you're going to spend $3, you know, I would rather you do something else. Like this Game Changer pack is very, very expensive, but the Canton pack has like glitchy things. You could get two of these packs and you know what I'm saying? You can look at the probability of what you're going to get. Now, you see that it's very, very low, the chances of getting stuff. Dudes are tweeting me that they pull Randy Moss out of it. Now, more than likely, a lot of you guys are not going to pull Randy Moss, but I'm just trying to explain something. You have chances at 80s, 81s, whatever like that. You have chances of a different amount of things, and then it gives you additional cards, you know, for half the price for one pack, right? And then if you wanted to upgrade one of your Hall of Fame players, which I explained to you in this playlist, how you can upgrade them, you know, the Earl Lockers, the Terrell Owens, you can put cards towards that. But I don't think it's beneficial for you guys to spend the $3 on that card when you're going to get rid of him. Because a 5'9 guy is not going to be doing anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, he's just playing around. Like, if you want to go out there and be competitive, you got to understand there are specific things that you have to do. Okay? They, you can't go out there with cards that don't have the ability to make the plays. And I'm not trying... Listen, I, I am in no way, shape, or form just trying to, like you know, discredit him on the field in the real NFL. I think Tyran Matthew in the NFL is a real good player. You know what I'm saying? For somebody that's undersized to go out there and be such a baller, I think he's a decent player. But in this Madden right now, it's not going to suit you well, and you're going to get mossed, okay? And you're going to deal with it. And you're going to shut up about it too. Like, all these things that I'm telling you, that's what you're going to be doing because there's realistically nothing else that you can do about it, okay? So what else can you do? Would I say go premium pack? No, I wouldn't. I haven't had a lot of luck with gold premium packs. You know what I'm saying? Um, especially just one by itself for three dollars. But if you if you try to get your money up and you you know you have fifteen dollars, okay, so you add another twelve to it and you go for a five times gold premium bundle. I think that this would probably be in the better interest of it if you wanted to spend money on a pack to try to get something. Okay. Ultimately, any of these packs can give you elites. Okay, but. You have to try to get something that works for you, like the silver jumbo pack and stuff like that. I wouldn't recommend you do that because, like, it depends on what you're getting. I don't know what you're trying to do with your training points. It's you don't know, like the jumbo silver. It's making me think that they're gonna probably be releasing a silver uh, master very soon because it makes no sense for them to do that because you really have no other use for the silver, you know, silver cards unless you want to make a, a playbook, you know, things like that. There's really no interest in it. But I try to evaluate it the best way that I can financially for everyone. Recently, I played a guy that, you know, came on and was, you know, telling me that he spent $3,000 on his team. My viewers, everyone can't spend $3,000 on their team. And I need to make sure that you guys understand that there are other ways for you to get better, your team to upgrade and everything like that, primarily with solos. That's why I show you guys what I do. Because, yes, I could afford to buy these packs every day and not feed my family. But I don't want to do that. You understand what I'm saying? So... I let you guys see. I'm dead broke right now, but I can show you why I'm dead broke. You can look through my playlist. You can see everything that I'm doing. You can see every pack that I bought because I don't need to hide it from you because I need you to understand that this is realistic what you can do with just grinding, you know, solos and buying packs periodically. Not every time something comes out. You know what I'm saying? I recently tweeted out that if you guys gave me 50 retweets, I would have opened up a Richard Sherman pack. I think that tweet is at like 40 right now. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not trying to buy packs all the time and do whatever, but this is what I invest in. I invest in the players that I feel are going to give me the greatest chance to win. That's what I do. Okay, so when you look at it from that aspect, you can understand exactly what I'm getting at right now. Okay? Why would you go, like right now I have this guy Hal 
as my free safety, but he's really a strong safety, so he's not even counting towards my chem because he's out of position. But he's 86 speed, you know, so, you know, he's out, he's, he's fast enough and he's 5'10". He's by no means a guy that's going to be out there very long. I'm going to have that guy gone very, very shortly. I think he sucks, but he's there for now because I can't afford a free safety. So what am I doing? I'm grinding Mutt Master. I'm doing different things to get my team better. I'm getting my coins up through different, uh, you know, various ways that I show you on, you know, right here in this playlist. So review the playlist and see the different ways that you can make coins. But understand that you're going to have to grind these solos. You're going to have, look, if you're asking me, yo, Jemaya, I haven't made any coins, bro. This game is difficult. Yo, what should I do? And I see, like, you know what I'm saying, that you guys are not grinding it. Like, you didn't go through these solo solos. You didn't do your gauntlet. You didn't do any of this stuff. I can't take you seriously. Because you can't expect to just get something for free in a game that's popping like this. Like, this game is popping. Back when it first started, it wasn't popping as much, so it was a little bit different. Right now, it's popping. So, if you don't know what you have to do to get free packs, I recently put out a video showing you how, how to get free packs through Skills Trainer. Check that video out. If you don't know how to get your grind up, bro, it's nothing I can do for you. I'm going to do everything that I possibly can to make you guys the best players in month. But you got to help me. You got to meet me halfway. And right now, this guy right here, bro... Like, listen, let me, I'm, I'm telling you right now, this dude, Tyran Matthew, bro, he's not the guy. Like, he, he's just not that dude that I think that you guys should be trying to, um, you know, I don't think that he's the guy that you guys should be going after right now. I just don't think that that's the guy for you guys, all right? If you have any other questions about it and you want to talk about uh, other things that you should probably be doing, you have to be able to best evaluate the way you spend every single dollar. And if players are undersized, it's going to count and it's going to matter more when you got Randy Mosses and you got Terrell Owens and all these guys that they're throwing high passes to out in your secondary. All right? I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.